Hi there, join me in this video as I attempt to get some better shots of a kingfisher. I did make a couple of videos where I built a hide to take pictures of a kingfisher. And if you haven't seen those, they're worth checking out. Go and do that afterwards. But I got a few reasonable shots of a kingfisher. The problem was the perch that it landed on was quite a long way away from the hide. So what I wanna try and do in this video is get some better shots because there's a perch that I put up quite close to the hide and that is ideally where I want the bird to land because I'm gonna get much better clarity. Hi, this is Editor Me, just butting in before you start watching the video. Just wanted to let you know that this took four days to film and over 10 hours of sitting in the hide. So I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget, it's really important that you enjoy your photography. Just before I go down to the hide, I want to respond to some comments that I've had from subscribers. First of all, Brendan and Nigel said that they find the exposure text I put up here in the corner a little bit difficult to read. So what I've done is I've expanded it by about 160%. So hopefully that should be easier to read. Second, I had a comment from Matt and Sue Parker. Now at the front of the hide, I've got some black plastic which acts to stop the water coming in and hides me a little bit from the Kingfisher as well. But they suggested that I put some black plastic behind to hide my silhouette. Now I've done that and what it also does is it makes the hide darker as well. So it's all good. So you'll see that when I get down to the hide. And finally, I got a great comment from Malcolm. He told me how to spot the difference between a male and a female kingfisher. A female kingfisher has some orange, much more orange under its bill than the uh, male does. And the way to remember is females wear lipstick. So that's a really good tip. Thanks, Malcolm. just had the kingfisher land on the back perch that I put up. Um, they seem to be getting braver. I'm seeing them more and more, so it shouldn't be long now before they come and land on this front perch. Fingers crossed. I've got another sighting of the kingfisher. This time it landed on a tree um, along the side of the pond, so I've got a shot of that. Um, still not on the front perch though. I'm still waiting for that. <sighs> so that's the end of day one. I've been here for about three hours. It's about as much as I can take sitting um, cr crunched up like this on the floor. Um, I've got some nice shots of the Kingfisher didn't manage to get it on the front perch so hopefully another day it'll get braver and it'll come and land on this front perch. Join me on day two. Morning, welcome to day two. I'm back in the hide. Hopefully today will be the day when I get a shot of the Kingfisher on the front perch. Now something I've done differently today is I've brought down the shutter release, the cable release, um, because I was finding when I was zoomed right into the back perch that I was still getting just a slight amount of camera shake when I was pressing the shutter and that was just softening the images and I didn't like that so hopefully today that won't be a problem but I'm confident today that we're going to get that kingfisher on the front perch. The kingfisher just landed at the back of the pond and I managed to get some video of it diving into the water so that was quite nice I don't think it caught a fish because it flew straight off again but that was a nice piece of video. on the front perch and I've managed to get some really nice shots some that really show off the detail of the kingfisher so it's obviously now used to this front perch and it might start using it even more so oh, 
happy days. enjoying this video don't forget to click like subscribe and the bell notifications that way you'll find out about all of my future releases lots of people who watch the videos don't subscribe so if that's you please do me a favor subscribe down below it really helps the channel the end of the second day in the kingfisher hide i think i'm going to film at least another day down here to add to this video um, i've got some great shots today but i think i can probably improve on those even further maybe even some action shots so the next time you see me i'll be back down in the hide but it'll be a third day so join me soon morning again it's the third day down in the Kingfisher hide. Hopefully today I'll get some shots that are equally as good as yesterday. The Kingfisher does seem to be um, much braver now about coming onto this front perch. So hopefully I'll come back again. Um, who knows what I'll get today. But uh, fingers crossed that we have as successful a day as we did yesterday. Kingfisher has been back on the back perch again. I've got some shots of that. I tried to get some action shots, but I didn't. But they are more successful with the cable release. Uh, they're just that little bit sharper, so I'm happy with. Fisher has just landed on a fence post just off to the left of the hide so that gave me quite a different shot um, something that I've not had before and then it did take off and I sort of got it in flight um, but there's some grasses that are that are just in between here and the fence post I'll have to cut those down um, that just got in the way and blurred it and I don't think the shutter speed was fast enough anyway to really really freeze it but it was a nearly shot nearly that a day that's the end of the third day down in the hide I've got some really good shots particularly like those on the fence post um, I think I'm gonna do one more day filming for this video so the next time you see me I'll be back down here on day four I'm back down in the hide for the fourth day of filming um, I just want to try and get some action shots um, just to finish the video off don't know whether it's going to happen um, but um, I am happy with the shots I've got so far you just get a bit greedy when you start to see the Kingfisher on a more regular more regular basis you want to try and do something a little bit more interesting than just getting it sat on a stick um, but you know, we'll have to take what we get um, actually getting it in action is going to be quite tricky I think because they do move extremely quickly Right on cue, my friends bought me a brew, nice one. How's this for service? Just got a McDonald's delivered as well, what a great mate. <laughs> Fish has been back on the front perch and I've got some really nice shots of it. 
but I don't think I'm going to get the action shots today. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this, um, but I'm going to pack up now and um, wrap the video up in a second. So I've spent over 10 hours over four days sitting in the hide and I think I've got some amazing shots of the Kingfisher. I've also learned quite a lot about its behaviour patterns so that'll help me in the future and I've even had a bonus McDonald's this morning so it's all good. What I have done is while I've been sitting I've been thinking about how I can improve um, the shots that I get and so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change the perches slightly or probably add some perches um, to give more um, diversity to where it lands because I've only at the moment got the two perches so if I've got more opportunities for the kingfish to land it'll make some more interesting photographs. I've set up an Instagram account at D Oakden Photography. You can use that to message me or you can see pictures that I am about to put into videos and I also take pictures while I'm on shoots as well so check that out. I also really love hearing comments from all of my subscribers. I love reading them and it's great to interact with all of you out there. Thanks for watching this video, hope you've really enjoyed it and if you have don't forget to click like, subscribe and the bell notifications to be informed of all of my future content. That's all for now, check out my video next week going live at 4 o'clock, all that's left though is to say stay safe and I'll see you soon. Where I built a hide for a king. And if you haven't seen them they go huge. So I've got a little bit, I've got bear. So I've done that and that had the I'm back. I've got me brew, I've got me brew. Do 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 do.